And on this midday, we are highlighting a major milestone for one of the city's most important institutions. The Greater Dallas Hispanic Chamber of Commerce is celebrating 85 years of supporting and empowering Hispanic businesses across the Metroplex. Joining us now are two of the members to highlight one of the Chamber's key initiatives, the Empowered CEO Fund. We're so excited to welcome you, uh, Joe Reyes, Real Inc. CEO, and Alexis Flores, Giraffe studio yes. CEO, uh, both members of the chamber and passionate leaders in our community. Uh, so good morning to both of you. Uh, let's dive in. So tell me about this initiative, Empower CEO. Sure. Um, I partook in the Dallas Accelerator program, and it was really geared towards small businesses. And I had never taken a business class, so it was so immensely helpful for us to have resources to talk to other members who are entrepreneurs and it was it was better than I could have ever imagined for our business. Oh that's amazing and Joe tell me about some of the challenges that you faced you know when starting your own company and, and how did you overcome them? Yeah basically it's um, a lot of just learning the whole system um, I didn't read a business book so funding sales you know marketing what do you, how are you going to handle that what do you do when you start your business so it was all new to me I um, my background's in technology and electrical systems, but um, starting a business is a whole different process, so a lot of learning. Yeah, it, it, it's a lot. It's a whole different ballgame. And Alexis, you like to bring in young people, and I know that's something that's important to you, including your daughter, I saw. Mm -hmm. So tell me about that. Why is that important to you, and what is it like bringing her in? I feel as architects, we have a really big responsibility to be mentors to the profession. And so bringing in younger generations not only encourages us to teach them what we know, they teach us a lot too, and that's really exciting. And our, our daughter, it's kind of funny, she probably will never want to be an architect, um, but I think she does find joy in being creative, and we definitely want to support that. And so having gen younger generations keeps us kind of vibrant in that respect. And, and you know, the letter CEO, that can be, those letters are kind of scary, especially like you're saying, sometimes it's a, a completely new, new thing that you're venturing out on and learning about how to start a company. So what are your tips? You can go first, Jeff. Um, basically for us, I mean, for any business, I think is building a great team. You've got to surround yourself with great people and then serving, you know, serving your employees, serving your team and serving your customers. If you can take care of your customers, your customers will take care of you, and that's been our whole mission, is just to build a great team and support our customers. What about you, Alexis? I mean, what's your biggest tip? My biggest tip is to find the thing that you are most passionate about and just do it every day and make a living off of it and enjoy it every day because if you're enjoying it, the people you work with are going to be enjoying it too. Okay, so we're, if, if a young business owner is, is, is watching this interview right now, uh, what do you say to them to kind of come out and check out Empower CEO? I would say use whatever resources are available to you. That is an immense resource to have and if you can get to it, do it. Joe? For me, uh, the Chamber is a great starting point. Mm -hmm. They have so many resources, so many talented people, the experience, they have the contacts, networking. It's, it's a great place to go, and you know, I, I highly encourage that, to get involved with the Chamber. They're, they're there to help, and they've got yes. an amazing team. Yeah, it sounds like it. And, and both both of you, thank you so much for what you do, not just you know in your own businesses, but bringing in those young people uh, and kind of allowing them to follow in your footsteps. So first, how can we get a hold of you and how can we uh, learn more about the Greater uh, Chamber of Dallas Hispanic Chamber? Our gala event's coming up on a couple, two Fridays from now. Oh, so tell that's me about gonna, that. That's gonna be a great event. Yeah. So you can start there, uh, the webpage as well and uh, for us directly uh, all our information is on our web page and it's www.real.inc. Okay, so. Perfect. Alexis? Yes, I would say the same thing. Join the chamber, go to the events. You're going to meet so many amazing people there and as far as us, we are very active on uh, social media and our website is www.jraf-studio.com. Okay, well thank you so much again for being here and for encouraging people to, to join in and we'll be sure to check that out. Cleo, All right, Marielle, thank you. Great interviews there.